In this video I'm going to try to test the Olympus SP100 AE camera which I recently purchased. Now the reason I purchased it, I'm actually a filmer of UFOs in Sydney so I'm a part of a group that regularly captures um, these orbs and things on film. So I'm after a camera with a red dot viewfinder and this was the one I thought wow it's 50 zoom when you see that little uh, dot in the sky, you literally aim that cross at it and start filming straight away for rapid pictures. So this is a test, try to see how clear this camera is. And I'll quickly go now to the pictures. So in order to test the camera, um, I've picked a subject that I estimate is about 100 feet away. It's actually a stop sign. So from my open door, I've actually picked that sign right there. Now this is a clear shot. Um, and no zoom was applied to it to actually show you how far away that sign is. So there, there it is there, it's actually a parking sign which I'm trying to focus in on right there. Now when I use the zoom function, full zoom, this is a sign here. So it's actually now 50 zoom and I've Take, I've taken it right to the end and applied for a digital to it. So we've got 200 zoom total. From there, if I enlarge it literally twice, so if that 2p, uh, 2p parking is uh, doubled, that will literally become 400 zoom. So from there to there, if we make that whole sign from top to bottom, it's three times that zoom, so it's nearly 600 zoom. So that's 600 zoom and we've got very good clarity. So we've, we're now using a digital zoom on the original. And even if we go higher, from that six we've got, we had nearly 600 total then, we can uh, double that to virtually make the six twice as big and we've hit virtually a thousand zoom. And you still see it's it's clear. I mean that was only small. That's only small writing on there. Now if we really want want to be smart and we want to go to 2,000 zoom, we are double the size of PM, which I can do quite easily, just to see how clear it would be when that's done. And it's still very clear. So the clarity in this is very good. Um, now to actually go twice as much, that's 2,000 zoom try and hit 4000 and we can still see the writing on there but it's obviously rougher now so let's just return to how large that sign was originally on 200 zoom which is 50 zoom and for a digital now I'll play back the film now which shows um, the actual zoom effect so I'm very happy with this camera um, so this is a film here um, now it takes a while to zoom in if you start from the original um, up to 50. So when it stops we've hit the um, normal 50 zoom and we then try to enlarge it um, using that extra uh, digital which happened here so it's quite clear. Let's go through it again. So I'm virtually just Pressing the zoom as we film. This is where now we've hit the full 50, and we're now rapidly using the, a digital zoom to enlarge it. So that's a full 200 zoom there. So it's quite clear. I've estimated that to be, be about 30 uh, meters away. So it's probably about 100 feet away. And we've hit the full. 200 zoom which is 50 optical and then four times digital now the 40 times a digital seems to provide a very clear picture um, by actually enlarging the a picture of a 200 zoom we see it still stays relatively clear on there so it's fairly clear. Now I've just used this um, on a plane that was flying very high to actually look at the certain features of it. It's a chemtrail orb plane which is rumoured to be some t type of artificial uh, UFO. So I'll zoom in on those pictures here. So when I zoomed in on the plane I'm trying to use this sign as an example that we get 
very clear clarity. So this is a 200 zoom picture of the plane. This is a very unusual picture because we actually see the holographic nature of that plane. The regular planes that crisscross the sky very high up every 30 minutes. So if we just apply auto adjust to that here, we see that this is a very clear picture and it shows the orb like detail there, right there. That that, that rounded object with two holes in the side and the red tip which sh should be the wing there's actually a nothing in between and obviously we've got that very strange object behind it which shouldn't be part of that plane as well so we've got quite a few strange features here which have been picked up at, at that type of um, and if we convert it back to the original we still see that's quite clear as well when we adjust the detail, we might be able to get a little bit more clarity. I take you normally about halfway. So that should be a clear picture, but obviously it isn't. And we've proven using the stop sign that um, the clarity is very clear. The uh, resolution is very good resolution on this camera. This was a orb that was filmed as well, 200 magnification. And the only problem is, I think there's a difficulty of that height to actually maintain the auto focus at 200 zoom because it just if it isn't straight in the center I'm actually losing part of the focus so that's the actual object there that changes shape it's a type of orb and um, I then compensate by pausing the video as it changes shape or I took a rapid photos at 200 zoom and these obviously are clear because we've actually seen this using the stop sign and um, that's where we actually see the st st structure of this object as well, the orb light. So that's how I'm actually testing the uh, ability of the camera on that stop sign which is about 100 feet away then enlarging it.